In today's video, I'll be sharing with you when to expect your baby's first words and how you as a parent can help encourage your baby to start talking. Hey, it's Morgan, and if you're new here, welcome to the Passable Parent channel. I've been a pediatric nurse for the past 10 years specializing in early childhood development, and I'm also a mom. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos. And make sure to comment down below if you have any questions. I love to hear from all of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Most children say their first word around 12 months of age and have between three and five words by the time they are around 15 months old. Remember, babies begin understanding, babbling, and using gestures before they're able to say words that adults can understand and recognize. Around 11 to 13 months, your baby will likely understand between 10 and 50 words. For example, when you call them by their name, they should look at you and respond to you. Or when you say, do you want me to pick you up? They may reach their arms up for you to pick them up. They also should be able to understand when you ask them if they would like a drink or something to eat. You'll know your baby is getting ready to talk when their babble takes on more of a rhythm and they're using longer strings of various syllables. You might hear a rise at the end of a string of babble indicating a question, or your baby may babble and then look at you expectantly as they wait for you to respond to what they've said. Officially, your baby's first word is recognizable, used in context, spoken independently, and used more than once. Speech and language experts break this down further by explaining that the word approximations like ba for bottle and animal sounds and even words like uh-oh count as words too. As a parent, there are many things you can do to help encourage your baby to start talking. You are their first and most important teacher. Talk to your baby often and slowly using a higher pitched voice. Tune into their sounds and attempts to communicate by responding to them as if you understand. Repeat keywords like up, names of family members, uh-oh, and favorite foods. Read your baby's cues and teach them the word they want to say. For example, if they are saying ba, ba, ba while looking around and you think they might be looking for their bottle, ask them and repeat the word. Say, do you want your bottle? I see your bottle right here. Here's your bottle, bottle. There are also five simple things you can do that make a huge difference in your baby's early attempts to talk. First thing you can do is slow down. Babies process language much more slowly than adults, and they need extra time to think, react, and respond. Remember the acronym OWL, O-W-L. Speech and language experts recommend OWLing, which stands for observing, waiting, and listening when your baby is trying to talk. It might look like this. If your baby says a partial word like ma, observe their gestures and expressions, Look at their surroundings and consider what you think they're talking about. Even if you know they mean mama or mommy, try to wait. Experts recommend waiting 10 seconds, which can feel like a long time, but your baby's brain is working hard to form that word. If you wait, they may try to say it again. In this case, waiting means stop talking, lean forward, and look at your baby expectantly. Next, listen to whatever sound they make. Even if you know what they're trying to say, try not to interrupt or fill in silences. You can shape their word by saying the full word for them and then waiting again. If your baby says da, you can say dog for them. Try to limit your language when your baby is actively trying to speak. The second thing you can do is expand a known word's meaning. When you're confident your baby knows a word and is using it regularly, you can help them start to understand it in context by expanding it. For example, when they say da or dog, you can explain the word's meaning by using it in a phrase like, Fluffy dog, look at that dog run. Watch that dog chase his ball. Third thing you can do is read to your baby frequently. Get the most out of reading. Reading to your baby supports their language development, but it may only last a few minutes at this age due to their attention span, which really varies child to child. That's okay, they still get so much out of reading. Don't feel like you need to finish an entire book or even read every single word. Instead, follow your baby's lead and their interest. This may mean spending time describing and observing a particular picture that they're interested in rather than finishing the whole book. Name what's happening in the pictures with a word or two and then wait, giving your baby a chance to repeat those words. The fourth thing you can do to support early talking is to talk about everyday things and everyday surroundings in your baby's environment. 
Studies show that the number of words a baby understands relates to how often they've heard words that describe those everyday things, objects, people, and places, and actions. The more words spoken to a baby, research shows the larger vocabulary your baby will have. As much as you can, get down on eye level, face to face with your baby, and show interest in what your baby is doing, looking at, and playing with. And talk about these things out loud to your baby, naming objects, toys, and things that interest them. You can engage them in what you're doing too. If you are cooking or cleaning, explain to them out loud what it is that you're doing. Use words often and don't limit them just to nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Use words like uh-oh, we, in and out, and up and down too. Your baby is starting to truly understand these concepts and words as well. My fifth and final tip for you is to let your baby fill in the gaps. Soon your baby may be able to fill in the blanks or gaps when you leave off the last word of a well-known book page or song lyric. Even if they aren't talking yet, you can start now with a song that your baby knows and loves. For example, you can sing ba ba black sheep and then pause and observe what your baby does. Even if they make a sound that doesn't quite sound like ba, they're still beginning to understand that a missing word belongs. If you are concerned because your baby hasn't started talking yet or just because they don't have a spoken word at 12 months, that doesn't necessarily mean that your baby isn't on track. If your baby's babble and chatter is progressing and they're engaged with you and making eye contact and really, really into your conversations back and forth, they may just need a little more time. Talk to your pediatrician about any concerns you may have. Since we know that the sooner a child gets intervention and help, the better outcomes are for that child. You can never be overly cautious and should never feel silly to bring up any concerns you have with your pediatrician. You are your child's champion and the person here to advocate for them to make sure they get the best start possible. Never feel bad for advocating for your child parents. I hope this video was helpful and gives you an idea of when to expect your baby's first words and five tips to remember to help encourage them to begin talking. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos. And feel free to comment down below any questions you have or topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos. Thank you so much for your time today and for your support. I hope to see you in the next video.